Good afternoon, guys. Tony Jamelli here. Steven Ferguson. And Jonathan Slinsky. Hey, we're three of the Team Voodoo Shooters here, and uh, we've been going around the country the last few years helping new shooters, as well as some of the clubs get their ROs and uh, spotters all squared away. And we thought we'd do a little video to help uh, kind of explain some of those roles. Impact. 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 One of the role of the shooter is to understand the course of fire. You're going to grab your rifle, your gear, whatever else there is that you need for the stage. And make sure that you have everything you need before you get to the stage or before you're called up. That way you're ready as soon as you are called up and you're going to make sure that your parallax is set for whatever distance you may be shooting on the firing line. You're going to make sure your elevation and windage is set for the proper conditions and distance you're firing at. And then you're going to make sure your scope covers are open because that's a really good place to start so you're not doing it on the clock. Anything that you have to do afterward is going to be on the clock and that's wasting your own time and that could be another shot or another point that helps you to win the match. Alright, so now you've got all your gear ready, the RO's ready for you, and they call you up to the line, that's your last chance to ask questions. So before they say shoot already, if you have any questions about the course of fire, if you have any questions about confusion that you're trying to clear up, then this is your time. As soon as they say shoot already, it's good luck from there. So the role of the RO is to read the stage brief when you first show up at the stage and then run all of the shooters through the stage one at a time. Before the shooter starts the stage, the RO has a couple of questions they have to ask the shooter to make sure they're ready and they understand the course of fire. Typically, I've got a small script I use so that every time I run a shooter through, it's the same for everybody, no matter if they're the first or the last shooter of the squad. Once the stage starts, your job is to count the number of shots the shooter has taken. Easiest way to do that is with one of these uh, event clickers. You can get them on Amazon pretty easily. Uh, and to make sure that the shooter's time is getting recorded accurately, which the easiest way is to use a shot timer. So you've got the beep at the beginning of the time and then you keep track of it if you're running a tiebreaker stage or if you need to end the shooter because they've timed out for the, the for the limit on that stage let's talk about the role of the spotter the spotter is probably the most important person on the stage other than the shooter obviously but the spotter needs to be there to go ahead and make sure that the shooter is impacting the targets and receiving the points that they deserve uh, you should ensure that you have a proper spotting scope, a pair of binoculars, uh, in order to make sure you can see the targets. You should make sure that your spotting scope is set up in a position you can see all the targets or be able to traverse easily to them. The next important thing you need is a shot counter. That way you can count the hits. As the spotter, you're the one that's in charge of giving the points. If the shooter earned a hit on the target, you're going to simply yell out impact, click your clicker, and give them a point. If he misses, you give him no feedback. If they hit a strap, you can call out strap. If they hit a pole or a stand, you can call out stand or pole, which means the shooter does not earn a point. If you have other shooters around you or you have secondary spotters, they should augment the primary spotter. The primary spotter may miss something. They are human. They may blink. They may not see something. Um, if they don't call out the hit and it's clearly seen by other shooters in the squad, then we should award the uh, shooter the proper points that they deserve for the stage. Upon completion of the stage, once the uh, RO has cleared out the shooter and his weapon is safe, at that time, the spotter will go ahead and give the scorekeeper the amount of hits for the stage and everybody will confirm that's, that's the score that the shooter earned. The final role in the match is scorekeeping. This can either be done by the RO, the spotter, or another spectator. All that person's doing is recording the amount of impacts for that shooter's score for the stage. This can either be done in a tablet, on the practice score app, or it can be done on a piece of paper, or both, which is preferable. They should also have a, a shot counter, because this allows a little bit of redundancy to make sure that the shooter is getting the correct score for the stage and the score that they earned. All that person's gonna do is once they're done recording the score and the shooter's completed the stage, they're gonna have the shooter verify that score before it gets entered. So on the practice score app, you before you hit submit, you can hit review and that brings up the total score for the shooter to hit submit. That allows the shooter to know that the proper score was entered. If it's on a piece of paper, then you're gonna have that shooter look at the piece of paper and confirm that the score is correct. So that way, when it gets turned into the match director at the end of the day, they don't have to deal with any challenges because you already know the scores are good. 
Next shooter, Steven Ferguson. Go ahead, load and make ready. Spotter up. Spotter's right. Do you understand the course of fire? Are we taking a shot at the right orange target? That's correct. Okay, thank you. Do you have any questions? That was the only question I had. Shooter, are you ready? I am ready. Shooter's ready. Stand by. Impact. Impact. That was a stand, no hit. Impact. Shooter, if you are done, unload and show clear. I got the shooter for three. Three hits. Thank you. All right, guys, that concludes our little presentation on the roles of the scorekeeper, the spotter, the RO, and the shooter. Uh, hopefully you guys took some of this information, you can put it to use, and hopefully clarify some of the mistakes and things that we see at matches. And hopefully now you feel confident enough to be able to step up in those roles and help us out at matches.